Today, we're at the Schenck Forest, a forest managed by the College of Natural Resources here at North Carolina State University to welcome you to Forest Pathology, a three-credit distant education course. My name is Mike Benson, and I will be your instructor for the course during this semester. Since we're not a classroom course, we can stand out here in the woods and uh, greet students uh, who are taking the course this semester. So this is just an opportunity for the instructor to get to know uh, the students in the class. I guess I will know you through your work, and you will know me through my presentations and these videos that you will be seeing throughout the course and the web pages that uh, uh, accompany the course information. A bit about my background. My college degrees were from Earlham College in Indiana and Colorado State University, Fort Collins, Colorado. And I uh, did a postdoc at University of California, Berkeley, before joining the Department of Plant Pathology here at North Carolina State University uh, back in the mid-1970s. So I have been around the block a couple of times here at the university. My research interests are in uh, root diseases and specifically on ornamentals and Christmas trees. And we've looked at factors like biological control, uh, cultural practices, fungicides, things like that to learn how to manage these disease problems better for, for growers. I've taught several courses at the university over the years and about a year or so ago I started teaching the forest pathology course in the classroom. I thought, well, this would be a great example of a class that could be offered as a DE course uh, uh, online. And so uh, that's what we are doing here today is making some of the videos that are associated with the DE course. So the objectives of forest pathology are to provide students with knowledge of plant pathology as it pertains to forest and urban trees. So we're going to be covering diseases that occur forests like here at the Schenck Forest, as well as diseases on important trees in the landscape, for instance, Dutch elm disease, oak wilt, and so forth. We're also going to be introducing you to the major tree pathogens. So again, Dutch elm disease, oak wilt. Some of these are regional, like fusiform rust in the south. And others have national importance, like sudden oak death that occurs on the west coast. But we continue to have introductions on nursery plants here in the east. We'll also be giving some information on how these diseases are managed, both in the forest, in tree nurseries, as well as in the landscape. And depending upon the setting, the environment management tactics are quite different. As you might imagine, in forest, because of their extensiveness, it is uh, sometimes uh, uneconomical to apply fungicides, for instance, in a forest, just not economical. It's not going to do the job in managing the disease. So management tactics vary quite a bit from disease to disease and from environment to environment. We also have a brief section of the course on uh, understanding how wood and wood products are deteriorated. Although this is not a plant disease, it's a very integral component of forest and, uh, uh, and forest plant health. And I also want to give you an opportunity to do some writing in the course, other than your homework assignments. And so we're going to have a, what you might call a term paper, but we're calling it uh, a forest disease profile to give you some practice developing your ideas in terms of uh, scientific writing. So those are sort of the main objectives of the course during the semester. I think one of the most important things that, that I can say here in the beginning is we need to be thinking as students, what is a plant disease? How do you recognize a plant disease? How do you prove that a pathogen causes a plant disease? Once you know that information, then you need to understand the biology and epidemiology of the pathogen and the disease so that we can develop uh, efficient management tactics. So those are some of the goals we'll have throughout the semester. Now, 
what we're going to do next is we're going to move into the uh, recording studio and I'm going to go through the web page for the course and give you a sort of a guided tour of how the web pages are set up and at that time I will go through the syllabus and explain uh, the course requirements that is what you've got to do to uh, uh, complete the course and uh, successfully and and uh, so we'll be doing that moving into the uh, classroom and what I want to do is uh, have you click on the uh, syllabus lecture video next before you go to the lecture one video so I'll see you in the recording studio in a moment bye